down on Saginaw's west side today, down at the riverfront, and it was a very historic district at one time. Not a lot left of what was here, but something really cool that has manifested itself here in Saginaw, as it has in every city across the country, is graffiti, and some of it is absolutely amazingly stunning down here. And I'm gonna show you some of that today. A lot of it is just this yucky, ugly looking crap that says something to someone. But what I'm going to show you a little further on down here is pretty awesome. This is one of the old uh, building fronts here uh, facing the river. And it would have been so cool to see this area when they were all, you know, buildings in this design. Because um, even though it was a utilitarian type building, it still had a very unique characteristic and design to it. Um, I don't see a date on this building, but I'm thinking 1880s. Now this uh, is the Court Street Bridge, going over the river, Saginaw River. Under the bridge is where people have excelled with their graffiti. And this under the sea theme, I think is absolutely stunning. This one looks like a portal to another dimension. But as you can see, all the cement work until it gets out over the river itself is covered with graffiti. Some pretty cool stuff. Down here you've got like a, a Mexican Day of the Dead type theme going on there. And then into just, you know, just unique designs. I like the contrast of the Day of the Dead against the flooded river there. Storefronts. I love that one. Look at that one with the pelican on it. Of course, pelicans aren't native to Saginaw, but it's still a beautiful piece. And then into the more style, stylized uh, design. And now as I come around here, here's the McDuck one again, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Really like that one. Okay, and then back up underneath the bridge and uh, you see a lot of the same thing with the uh, with the uh, abstract there's a cross on this one if you can see it, it's a little bit dark under here but yeah we got peace and love there welcome back to the 1960s now this isn't graffiti, this is commissioned and it's part of the Great Mural Project here in uh, Old Town, the west side of Saginaw. And as you can see it says Old Town. And here's information about the uh, mural project here in Saginaw. So if you'd ever want to contact them, ideas, donations, whatever. Um, wah wah sum, lightning of the water. The Tappan Brothers. So that's kind of a really cool one too. Across from the brothers is this mural, which is really nicely done. I'm gonna take a couple of still pictures of this so I can show you the whole the whole thing. One of the utility boxes that are painted up here with inspiring messages on them. This one, thank you for using imagination. Okay, I'm across from Raleigh's restaurant. The best burger, I think, anywhere is a, is a Big Buford and then Raleigh's fries. So I'm gonna take a rest, I'm gonna go over here, get something to eat, sit at one of the tables outside, 
and enjoy this beautiful day. So I guess I'm not getting my burger today. I just came over here. There's no cars through the takeout or through the drive-thru. Nobody's standing at the windows. Everybody's standing in the back there with their fingers up their asses. So I guess I'm going to settle for something else. Bummer. Too bad they don't find people that can work. This is one of my favorite stores to go to when I'm in extreme pain because you can't get any of the doctors to give a shit about how you feel. So this is a uh, marijuana dispensary here in Saginaw. But I like, they, they tore down a building that had been there for a long time in order to put this nice new building up. But they pay homage to Zorba's restaurant, which had been there forever, by doing this sign on the side of the building. Well, I hate to put it this way, but that mural has been here probably since the time of Moses. But seriously, it's on the Old Town Christian Outreach Center here on the west side, which does phenomenal work in the city and helping people. But this mural is one of the first ones I remember seeing in, 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 on the west side ever. But it's been there for a while, so really cool, very nice piece. Now this is on the side of a fence off the main road, and at one time the colors were probably vibrant, but it reminds me of a Twilight Zone episode that I saw when I was a kid, it was a black and white one, where the sun was getting ready to explode and everybody was dying of the, of the temperatures. <laughs> Anyways, oh there he is.